Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a 1911 compensator. It's really easy. I got this one for about $30 off of eBay. But I'm going to show you a video clip of me shooting it before I put it on, then I'll show you how to put it on the gun. Let's get into it. Eight rounds, here we go. Okay, so what you do to install the compensator, first you make sure it is unloaded. You take out the magazine, pull the slide back, make sure there is no round in the chamber, verify it, point, and fire in a safe direction. Now, you press down on the uh, spring cap, that's what it's called, forgot what it's called, and then you rotate your pushing counterclockwise, move the spring out of the way, then you pull out. Okay. <clears throat> now here's your compensator. You uh, pull this out. And now what you do is you uh, put your cap back over it. Then you are going to uh, press down slide that in there have it kind of turned at an angle about right there or you can push it in rotate uh, or push down rotate clockwise then it you should hear a click hear it lock then it is on there Yeah. Now, if you do have a holster, or says it in here, good. Here it is. Um, your 1911 will, well, depending on what you have, the compensator muzzle brake, it will hang out the end of the uh, holster. Without it, with your normal bushing on, you know, it doesn't do that. Um, don't know if it'll be a problem to y'all, but well, let's go shoot it. Okay, I got another eight rounds loaded up. See how it works. Now I could tell a difference in between having the compensator and not having the compensator. For example, this is a picture of me shooting the gun without the compensator on. You've got more of a free fireball, you know, the gases are able to go wherever they want to go. And then here's a picture of me shooting it with the compensator on. You can see the muzzle flash, you know going out of the sides and the top of the compensator, you know, uh, where they're supposed to go in order to reduce the muzzle lift. And I could tell a difference um, in the recoil just a little bit, not that much, but it did help. So if you're trying to do some rapid fire, uh, rapid firing and keeping your gun on target, you know, I think it'd be worth the investment, especially because it's $30. You don't need to pay for an extra, not an extra, but a threaded barrel. But thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and maybe notify.